Hi everyone, I'm April and you're watching The Tangled Cat Speaks. This is episode number 26. Sorry it's a little bit late tonight. Um, I had my daughter over for dinner. Um, we cooked together, we watched a movie, and we hung around and played with her dog a little bit. So I was having a really good day um, with family. So sorry it's a little bit late, but here it is. Let's get started um, with some whips. I have been talking about the block party socks that I had started back in June, at the beginning of June, for my um, brown baggy knit sock club choice. And I was using the Three Irish Girls Kells Sport in Maureen, the Maureen colorway. And then the other was on uh, also Three Irish Girls. This was the Beckin Merino, and this was the Trinity colorway. It's actually more of a royal blue. It looks kind of navy on the screen, but it's a royal blue. It's bright. Um, and the last time I showed you, I only had the leg done of one sock. Um, now I've gotten, there's the leg, and I did the heel. This is a eye of, an eye of partridge heel to focus and I've decided not to continue with the block party pattern on the foot I think I'm gonna I'm just doing the foot in all solid blue and then I'll do the toe in the pink um, I liked doing it but it just kind of got bogged down doing these socks and it was I just got so busy and everything and I just want to get them done so I want to finish this sock which it should go quicker now that I'm in the foot um, doing just plain stockinette so and then I want to get the other sock the second sock started um, I really don't want to get second sock syndrome with these and I feel like if I slow down and do the slip stitch pattern all the way down that I'm just gonna get I'm gonna feel overwhelmed so I'm gonna just move forward, make it a little quick. I was originally doing, um, I was gonna enter it into the June sock bash for three, I, I'm sorry, for grocery girls. And I obviously didn't make the deadline. I did not finish these in time in June. And I was gonna make these fraternal socks and do the, change which one was the main color. But since I didn't even make it for, for the um, sock bash for June, I just decided to just go ahead and stop on the leg and just do straight stockinette on the foot. So that's what I'm working on. And now I'm sure it's going to go really fast, <laughs> especially because they're sport weight. Actually, I think that Beckin Merino is a heavier fingering weight, um, but it's, it's comparable to the sport. It's only just a little bit thinner, but not, it's not noticeable in the sock. Um, so that's what I am currently working on. I also decided that in June, I wanted, instead of working on another shawl this month, I wanted to focus mainly on socks. So what I've got is a pair of socks that I started, oh, okay, not a pair of socks, I started a sock in November, and I really would love to finish them because every time I look at this yarn, I just get so happy. I don't have any red socks. Whoops, I dropped that. <laughs> So these are, sorry, it's tangled. It's a tangled mess. It's been hiding in my project bag. Oh, dang it, I just dropped some stitches. Okay, just be careful, April. Just be careful, don't rip anything out. Sorry. <laughs> so this is the sock that I'm working on. And it's, my lighting is terrible because it's evening and I have to have um, indoor lighting so it's not, looking like it should this is actually more of a cherry red it looks very similar to the way this red looks here in mixed with the black um, but for some reason the light is just making this look more of like an orangey red but it's more of a cherry red the pattern that I'm using is the Maureen fold nemesis pattern and I had chosen this pattern back in November because in November we read the book Nemesis by Agatha Christie in the Delicious Death group on Ravelry, but I failed. I didn't keep up um, But I'm actually really close to finishing the leg on this one 
Um, God, it's such a pretty pattern. She does so many beautiful sock patterns with cables and oh, I just love it. And I can't wait to have my first pair of red socks. So that's what I'm working on. Excuse me. Let me get my yarn. Um, these are the, I, I believe I showed you before the bamboo needles that I got really inexpensively off of eBay from some vendor in China. So that's what I'm working on he with here. And these are on 2.5 millimeter, which would be a one and a half US needle. The yarn is Three Irish Girls, and this is the Adorn Sock Base. I have had this in my stash for quite a while. Um, this was <laughs> Land of the Loon, and it's a black, white, and gray with splashes of red. And it's, it's that really pretty cherry red. So it was Land of the Loon. And when I bought this, they didn't have any coordinating red. Um, I think she has, uh, three Irish girls had several reds on their website, but they were not quite the same kind of red. They were more um, like rusty reds, orangey reds, and this one is definitely a cherry red. So I had um, emailed them at the time I ordered this if to ask if they could dye a solid red the same red that's in this to coordinate and she did they were or they did they were very nice very um accommodating and they dyed up a solid red to go with it and i am really really sorry this is just looking terrible <laughs> on the screen this they are actually identical the red that's in this in the ball and the red that's in the cake but um so i'm working on that and again this is three irish girls on their adorn base it was loon and then they called this Loon Red. And it was so beautiful. I'm just, I was so happy to finally um, cast these on. And I'm loving how my gauge and stitch count are making these spiral rings in the cuff. I don't know what it's going to look like in the heel or the toe, but I'm so excited to find out because I'm really loving these. I'm glad that I found them again. And these have been living in a project bag that I won off of, um, it was a, a knit along that um, Pandy's Jewels, um, uh, Julia from Pandy's Jewels had done for a, a knit along on her um, Ravelry page. I can't remember which knit along it was for, it's been a couple years. And I don't know where she got this bag from, but this is the prize that I got. It's a London bag. So you can see there's the double decker bus and there's a big giant clock. And let's see, I know there was, I thought there was, I don't know, I thought there was a phone box on this. I think this was supposed to be a phone box, but I could be wrong. But it's very small. It's definitely nice for a single pair of socks. And you can see that it's shiny. I'm not sure what kind of fabric it is. It's maybe maybe a vinyl. I don't know. The inside has a really light colored cotton fabric with pale aqua and some white polka dots. It's super cute. It says made in Britain on the tag. I'll show the other side. And then this says, it's really hard to see this small tag, and I'm thinking maybe this is the person who made it. It says, um, Rosy Retro, or maybe it's Retro Rosy, I'm not sure. But I, like I said, I won this in a knit along, and I just, I just don't remember exactly where she got it from. It's just so cute. <laughs> I love it so much. This was, I, I was so happy to win this at the time because it's, I was um, watching Sherlock with Benedict Cumberbatch at the time and I was just so into it and I was like, yay, I won that bag, I won the London bag. I was so happy. So that's where my Nemesis socks are living right now. <laughs> Super happy about those. 
Um, the other thing I wanted to do was, um, I told you last time that I had dyed or over dyed um, some green yarn with a darker shade of green to give it more of a tonal look. So I'm, I did find a mini skein that I wanted to use as contrast. Since I only had the 50 grams of the Knit Pick Stroll that I had dyed, I don't have any more of this. And I don't know that I'd be able to recreate this color even if I tried. Um, so these are definitely going to be short socks. And what I found, and um, again, this was Knit Pick Stroll. It was the originally pickle juice colorway. And I had added some um, green food, uh, gel food coloring to over dye it. Now, what I found as contrast, I had a while back ordered, I'll put a picture here. It was a... A mini skein set from October House Fibers, and it was the the set was called um, French Meadow, and it had five different colors of twenty. It was five different mini skeins, twenty grams each. This one was the lavender colorway, and in this lighting, and actually even in I guess in regular lighting, it looks gray but it's definitely got a purpley tint to it so this was the lavender and I think it's gonna look really really pretty with the green super 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 excited to knit up some shorty socks and I'm gonna use my nine inch circular and these are I've got it written down here I don't got it written down I think these these are 2.5 millimeter and I'm gonna just do the sock toe up and I'm gonna make basically it's just gonna be two by two rib all the way up the sock and I'm gonna use a short row heel which I'm not really a huge fan of it's not the perfect fit for me but I think what I'm gonna do to accommodate that is since I'm gonna be doing a two by two rib I'm gonna go up to a 72 stitch count instead of my normal 64 and I think that'll give me that extra looseness around the ankle that I'm going to need for using a short row heel and the ribbing will keep the sock nice and snug to my foot so I'm very excited it's just going to be basically mindless knitting and I'm so so happy that I found this I forgot I even had that mini skein set so I'm so happy I found it yay so I'm going to get started on those maybe tomorrow um, so I'm going to work on those three pairs of socks um, for the month of July and then I'll get back to shawl knitting in August. Speaking of shawl, I finished my exploration station and I'm so in love with it and I'm going to put in another um, photo of a better picture of the full shawl because I'm really it's huge and I can't really do it justice here but this is it. <laughs> I'm loving it so, so much. It's huge. It goes all the way down my back. I'm five foot three, and I adore huge shawls. Oh, it came out so pretty. I think my favorite part is the slip stitch section here that used, it used the two, um, uh, the blue and the cream speckled for the, uh, the those two were used in the, slip stitch section there and I think that's my favorite part but I love it so much I took it off the blocking mats today and oh, I love it I am so so happy guess what I'm wearing to work tomorrow <laughs> so there is my exploration station and I used um, four skeins of Pandy's Jewels shimmer base and they were the I'll just again tell you the colors that I used. This dark pink is called Berry Stain. Oops, excuse me, Berry Stain. The cream with the speckles in it is called The Land of Sweets. Look at all those beautiful light speckles. There's some greens and yellows and pinks. It's just so pretty. I love it. And this blue is called Ice Castle. And then the darkest blue 
is called Dusk, and it's on the shimmer base, so it does have some sparkle to it. I think you can, I think I can pick some of those sparkles up here. The whole thing is sparkly, and not overwhelmingly so, where I feel like I'm a disco ball, but um, it does have a nice, beautiful shine to it. The short rows were so fun to do. I really enjoyed this. I did mention that I didn't absolutely love doing the brioche, but man, I love how it looks. Love it. The only change that I did to this was um, the I-cord edging. I did do the I-cord edging, but I did it in, in the cream speckle in the Land of the Sweets instead of doing it in the dark blue. Um, the way that the pattern is written. That was the only change that I made. This was made on, what was it, a US 6 needle of four, a four millimeter. So it's nice and it's light and airy and it's perfect for cold days. It's perfect for warmer weather, especially when you're indoors and you've got the AC cranked. Because believe me, here in New Mexico, we have got the AC cranked everywhere. Every single building you go into, they got the AC on. The other day, it was 103. I think that was probably the summer solstice, but that was the hottest day so far. 103. Oh my gosh. It was so awful. I, I hated it. <laughs> I do not like being hot. Why do I live in a desert in Southwest USA? I have no idea. But it was so stinking hot. All last week was terrible. I think this week so far, it was in the upper 90s which it actually you could feel the difference as opposed you know 94 degrees as opposed to 103 you could tell the difference but not by much i still don't want to go outside it's so so hot but that's okay we'll live got my water today uh i was doing cucumber in my water so yay happy about that mm. and i have been snacking on dried figs. I love these things. I actually forgot that I liked them. I was introduced to these by a, a co-worker years and years ago. I would say maybe about six years ago. And I totally forgot all about them. He was really nice. He used to bring them in for me. He, Whenever he would pack them for his lunch, he would bring me a couple of extra. Oh, there's Aggie. Hi, Aggie. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, so he used to bring some extra for me, and um, when he no longer worked with me, I kind of forgot about them. And I happened to find some the other day, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to get them. And yep, I still love them. <laughs> so that's what I've been snacking on. I had my daughter try them today. No, don't jump on that. I know, but no. <laughs> um, but I had my daughter try them tonight, and she did not like them. <laughs> That's okay. More for me. <laughs> okay, and last week, I talked about the Delicious Death group. We are reading now in July. We're going to start um, Dead Man's Folly. Sorry, <laughs> a little scatterbrained. Dead Man's Folly is the book we're reading now for July, and the girl who's running the thread for this month chose one of the themes out of the book is Magnolia's. So I mentioned before I was going to make The Pink Magnolia by Carol Ballard. This is what I ended up with. And again, my lighting is terrible. This is a maroon and this is a rose color, like a rose blush color. And then the pink, this pink is actually showing up very true. So is the green. Um, it ended up quite big. It's made all out of worsted weight acrylic. Um, what I really wanted to do with this is do two of them, but I don't think I have enough of that bright pink. So what I wanted to do was reverse the inner and the outer colors and make opposites. But I don't believe this, this last couple of rounds here takes up quite a bit of yarn and I don't believe that I have enough of this pink to make it all the way around and I don't want to make it and then be like oh crap I don't have enough so I didn't end up doing that but that was my original plan but this is really pretty I don't know what I'm gonna do with it I may end up 
pinning it to a bag or something somehow attaching it because it's just really pretty I think it's too big to put on the side of a hat or something but it turned out really nice and I, it was supposed the pattern called for a um, size H hook I ended up using a G which is somewhere right here it's a uh, 4.25 millimeter and I'm glad that I did because could you imagine this would have been so much bigger on an H I am a very loose crocheter over the years my my gauge has just gotten so loose when I crochet very relaxed when I do that so that's what I did for the delicious death group now for the um, July no long read along I have not yet gotten my book from the library I'm, it should be probably in there tomorrow it should be waiting for me I have it on hold um, so I can't show you the book right now but that's what I'm gonna be reading and I also did finish the the sin eater by Sarah rain that's already been turned back into the library but I still have the other one that I'm about to start the other ghost story by her called the silence and just this picture right here makes me really excited to read it because it just looks like it's going to be super creepy. I am really enjoying reading all of these ghost stories. <laughs> so that's what, what I have next to do. I decided, I, I know a couple months ago, I didn't get to join in on the uh, Grocery Girls the month their, of their sock bash that they did the sock blanks because I didn't have any at the time and I didn't have the money to buy them at that time but I did now um, a few weeks ago I went on to Etsy I've been working a whole lot of overtime and I had a little bit of extra money so I went on to Etsy and I bought some sock blanks and I've never knit with them before so I'm super 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 thrilled I went to the Etsy shop called something Gail's Art and this one she calls a single sock blank and I believe that this is just one strand it's it's a commercial knit sock blank just made with one strand and so even though it could ugh, look at this god it's so beautiful oh how could I say no you know I couldn't just browse and then walk away from this so pretty and it looks like she's got them pretty evenly all the way down but I still don't know that I would end up with identical socks um, which is fine I really just want to knit it I don't really care if these are a little bit different um, I'm just happy to knit these colors I think they're so pretty Ugh, I love it and this one the colorway that she's got on here she called it psychedelic flower huh, makes sense <laughs> Oh, I'm super excited. So this is a single sock blank. The other one, because yes, I bought more than one, <laughs> is a double knit, I guess. I don't know if that's how they say it, but it's two, yeah, double knit sock blank. This one is done. Where's the end? Oh, I know it's there because I accidentally yanked on it the other day when I was moving it. it is knit with two strands. And so you can knit two identical socks either at the same time directly from the sock blank probably using like magic loop or something like that uh, God. or you can do what I'm probably gonna do is wind these off into two separate cakes and knit them one at a time I don't usually do two at a time just cuz you know I'm not into magic loop and I don't mind doing um, I don't get I love it. I love it. I can't I don't even have words to say what I'm trying to say because look at this. Uh, it is a very fall autumnal color. Oh, maroons and reds and oranges. This is actually not a brown. This is that really, really dark maroon. And then this is like a cranberry red. I love it. But anyway, so I don't normally do two at a time when I'm using DPNs. I mean, it's possible and I could just knit, you know, a few inches on this sock and then the same amount on this sock and just keep alternating. I just don't do that. Um, so I'll probably wind these off onto two separate cakes and 
Let's do them one at a time. But I'm so excited. This one she calls Dancing Leaves. You know, I wish that I was this artistic. I could not draw this. I, I can't draw for the life of me. I make stick figures look terrible. <laughs> so that was my one exciting purchase that I got this week. I'm super excited. I just, I can't stop looking at it. It's so pretty. So I'm going to try them both out. I, I'm definitely going to make socks with both of them. Um, and we'll see how, how the, the single sock blank turns out. That's really all that I have right now, other than to say that this, we are now July 1st, which means that I have been doing these, um, knitting podcasts for six months. So this is my six month anniversary. <laughs> no, that's not a word, but I don't care. <laughs> Um, so I've been doing this for six months and I super appreciate everybody that has come to watch my show, especially those of you who have been with me throughout most of them. I really appreciate your attention and that you, that you take the time out of your day to come and spend it with me while I ramble on about my stuff. And I know that I'm not like a whole lot of other knitting podcasts here on YouTube. I'm not um, generally into giveaways and prizes and stuff like that but as a thank you I do want to do something for for uh, my viewers I'm not going to open up a Ravelry page and um, this will probably not go on any other social media like um, Instagram or Twitter or anything like that it's strictly going to be here on YouTube and it's going to be for this video so if you're watching this if it is any time within the month of July, make a comment down below and just tell me how you found me and tell me what you like about the show and you will be entered into a giveaway that I will be doing at the end of the month, the end of July. Um, so I will just go through and um, choose a random comment and that will be my winner at the end of the month. And I still haven't yet decided what I'm going to use as a prize, but I will definitely let you know in the next podcast. So just, and it doesn't matter, just one comment per person so that I can use a random generator. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, there's that's all you have to do. You don't have to knit anything. You know, you don't have to have been here from my very, you know, first podcast in January. You know, if you just came to me and this is your first time seeing me, that's fine too. I'm, anybody can join, but just make it one comment down below so that it can be fair and I will have um, a random drawing at the end of the month and I will let you know what the prize is going to be next time. So thank you for joining me and I will see you guys again next time. I hope you have a wonderful week and good night.